take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Because of the smell sebum is secreted by the sebaceous glands in the skin. It's an oily secretion meant to lubricate the skin and make it waterproof. Mix sebum with some dead skin cells and a little bit of bacteria, and you get some really potent smelling piercings. Make your mark, take our lead. If you just had your body pierced and you start to notice a crusty material around the piercing site, don't worry. Crusting after body piercing is perfectly normal. This is just the result of your body trying to heal itself. One dead blood cells and plasma make their way to the surface and then dry when exposed to air. Make your mark, take our lead. It's a buildup of dead skin cells, sebum, oil, and any hair and beauty products that land in your lobe area. It builds up into a greenish-brownish-grayish paste, and starts to get stinky as bacteria builds up, giving it its distinctive cheesy whiff.29 August 2019. Make your mark, take our lead. Cleaning your pierced holes with an alcohol-based solution, like a perfume, after shave or Listerine which is also said to clean the gunk faster. Also clean the gold earrings with the solution and then store them so that you don't put the earrings away and wear the same smelly things. Take our lead. Clean with a clean cotton pad or swab, dipped in rubbing alcohol. Use this around the pierced area a few times a day to remove any bacteria. Dab, don't wipe, the piercing. Dry with a clean towel or tissue so you don't damage the tissue while it's healing. Point 9 August 2019. Take our lead. You should clean your earrings as often as is possible, but you don't need to stress too much unless your ears and skin is hypersensitive. Everyone is different. To remain safe and sound, clean your earrings once a week especially if you wear the same pair all week. Point one six January 2016. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.